channel and Monday Night Live here we are um, I need somebody to go over and shake wrestler mania and uh, and wake him up because he's uh, he's taking a nap today and uh, he needs to get up here and start joining our live stream anyways let's see who do we have here all I, all I see is wrestler um, as I probably told everybody um, the last couple of weeks anyways we've decided we're gonna uh, cross um, cross platform our channel with Facebook so uh, and, and really the reason was is because of my meta glasses that I have I want to be able to use one day and so we wanted to kind of work out all the kinks on um, on this right here and in, in our live and then also I know we keep saying we're gonna go to um, um, sawgrass but I want to make sure that I'm I'm good to go with uh, um, on my Wi-Fi on my jetpack and I have to trade that jetpack in from a, a 4G to a 5G I guess it is but anyways all right, so Gary Winkle. Oh, well, I, yeah. I just was emailing Jerry. So we got we have Wrestler Mania again. Jerry Bell and Gary Winkle and so guess who we have in the helm tonight? We do have Christian Townsend back in the in the helm in the uh, control room chair so yay to Christian thank you Christian for joining us this evening um, hi Kevin where's I don't see Kevin Jerry Bell says hi Kevin where is Kevin is Kevin Kevin texting us Do we have him in the chat hmm no, I guess we don't, but we have Kevin here live tonight. Good evening, everyone. So, talked to Kevin the other day. He goes, hey, mind if I come over and make a, a, an appearance? I said, you can only stay for five minutes, Kevin. That's it. You okay. You can stay in for, for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, thank you, Kevin, for joining us tonight, and uh, Jerry Bell, what was that, hi, Kevin? Jerry. Were you texting? Were you on the... Uh, no, we, no. So, we only have... Is that how we look when you're watching me? Yeah. Oh, God. Anyway. Boo, Boston. <laughs> hey, we're number one. Stanley Cup this year, brother. <laughs> Uh huh. Right. And they're playing Tampa Bay, I think, in the first round. Oh, uh, uh, you're gonna have to switch up. No, you're in Florida. You know <sighs> what they say about Rome, right? When you're when you're in Rome, do as the Romans do. You never heard that, Ken? <laughs> well, look, <laughs> one thing at a time. <laughs> little by little, here we'll get around to it, right? Yeah. Well, thanks everybody for joining. Wrestler Mania says Christian and Kevin Pine River here, or or as I like to say, Pinover. Right? Wasn't I saying that before? So, uh, anyways, welcome everybody tonight, and uh, we're ready for a good show. I think. Hopefully, everybody has. Um, some good questions for us this evening so you know we can go ahead and um, get going Kevin you got anything you want to say buddy about being in Florida oh, it's great being here we... I, I think last week you weren't here right last yeah. Monday yeah last Monday you were in Florida yeah and then you went uh... back to Rhode Island yeah, a week ago Saturday we went had to go back to Rhode Island. Then we had to then we came back on a Monday morning. 
Okay. And now we're here. And it feels good. For a week. And then you're going back. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So how's the weather down here? It is great. It is 85 degrees and sunny, and this week it is going to be in the uh, about 90 for the next five six days. You see what it looks like up here in our little in our little thing? That's what the sky was looking like. Actually, I don't think there was a uh, there was a cloud in the sky. Not a today. cloud in the sky today. It was beautiful. It was a good day for videos. That's how I like uh, to take my pictures and my videos. Yeah. That is a definite uh, photo op yes. day. Currently, I see one cloud. One cloud. One cloud. We're going to let it linger a little bit, I think. So, uh... <laughs> uh wrestler, I gave up hockey for Lent. <laughs> Come on, man. Play the playoffs start Saturday night. Come on, Stanley Cup playoffs. Yeah. Oh, my brother. What is my brother doing on there? I'm selling my property, and I had one of the potential buyers get upset with me because I told the other buyer what they offered the other. What is he? What is my brother talking about? <laughs> yeah, the other buyer offered. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. That's your brother? Yeah. <laughs> I guess he's got a um, he's got a longer. Uh, thing that he did I do anything wrong by revealing to a potential buyer number two number one offered me oh are you asking me mm -hmm. well I've already outed you as my brother so obviously <laughs> everybody's gonna know <laughs> that oh, I Jerry. already gave you the information oh my Jerry Bell you need a good realtor <laughs> <laughs> Mark, you need a good realtor. Yeah, do you know of one, Mark? Now, Mark, if you need a good realtor, you come to Ira Miller. There you go. And see, the people that follow Ira Miller need to stay with Ira Miller. Inspection, uh, closing, A to Z. Watching so, out over it after you. Watching close. out over it after you close. The yeah. whole nine yards, it's just not a done deal after the fact. He's still with you if you have questions or whatever it may be. So everyone needs to stick with Mr. Ira Miller. Bottom line. And so, and so um, Kevin brought me a little gift today. <laughs> he goes, here. What? Hey, 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 Christian, go See in my office hands. and grab that. Um, he goes, here, you can have this. I don't need it anymore. I'm like, what is what is he bringing me here? So uh, <laughs> this is what he bring he brings me. I'm a nice guy. My lockbox. So I had a key in here, and anytime he needed, you know, he wanted me to look at something or check the house out or just go by and make sure everything was okay. So at least a year and a half. Uh, at least I guess. Is it that long? When you since you bought it. We bought it in February of 23. Wow, so it's a year and two months. Yeah. So somebody had to watch out over it. Absolutely, and it was Miss Ira Miller. There you go. So how can you go wrong? There you go. My little merch, which there'll be some more after Jamie Miller gets out of uh, her <laughs> master's program. She's about ready to it's so close now, but, you know, she's really... So we're just letting her just coast along. Do her thing. Ah, uh, so, so Mark says, so let's, let's go to our chats, okay? Let me back up a little bit to our chats. I don't, <laughs> flowing. I don't want to forget anything. All right, so here we go. Lauren and Tom are back. So good. Gary Winkle is at five Microsoft minutes. That one went pew, right over my head. Anyways, Gary wrote me. What did you write me, Gary? You were asking me something last week. Last week was a blur. I'm just going to tell everybody. I got the uh, shingle shot. 
Yeah, what happened? Oh, man. It just, I had a horrible reaction to that shingle shot. Okay, now was that your first or second? My first. Oh, you got to go back for a second. I, and they tell me the second is worse than the first. Oh. So uh, it was like, man, it just knocked me out of commission. So I'm still kind of, sh- you know, trying to shake it. And um, even today, I'm like, man, am I going to be able to make this live? So I had to go home and lay down today. You had that last week? Yeah. It's, it's, it was not good. Because so. we were, we were going to do the uh, uh, iPod cast, but I had a shot that morning, so I couldn't even walk. Oh, yeah, that's right. You I had, had your back. Sacriolic joint Yeah, you had injection. one of them X-ray... Injection. X-ray guided back injection. Yeah, so wow. I can't I can't play pickleball till Wednesday. <laughs> Man, <laughs> isn't that horrible? It is. Pickleball it is. maniac over here. He can't do hockey, so it's pickleball. <laughs> <laughs> All we, right. are, we are eventually going to try <laughs> golf shortly. Can he go, uh, oh, that's got to be. I, I really got to get that on video. You have any golf clubs for sale? For sale? Yeah, I don't know. Listen, my golf clubs are so old. My son now, I bought my son, state of the art, top oh of the line, God. whatever. And then I go out and play with him, and he's just blasting the golf ball. I taught him, bought him the really nice golf clubs, and to my own detriment. <laughs> <laughs> so he just kind of kills me so i have never golfed before i should say karen and i have never got golfed to before be a bo- i've got to i have no that. no that's that gonna won't be, be that's good that's gonna be great no i don't think so all right gary what are you talking about is that five microsoft minutes anyways hello that went over my tim Gemma. thank you for joining i haven't seen you in quite a few weeks actually so hopefully everything is okay we've kind of missed you and noticed that you've been gone um is hockey still going hello from columbia south carolina that's my brother and i didn't even see that one i just saw down here where he where he picked it up um (laughs) jerry i thought you gave up tofu Never even started on tofu. Never started on tofu. To give up tofu. No, I don't think so. All right. Oh, hey, Pat and Jane. Thanks for joining us this evening. Pat and Jane were out with me like a week ago on the weekend. Okay. So, uh, yeah, hey. Um, so, I didn't, did I do anything wrong? Mark, you need a good realtor. <laughs> All right. Wrestler. <laughs> brotherly advice all right bill rizzo hello iron kevin from the village of la belle north and uh, i thought ira would want to tell everyone how he helped me through this difficult situation so i don't know i don't know if i want to out myself on that one sir anyways just told him what what protocol is? Somebody texting me. I think I was in the belt. I think it's my brother. I think I was in the belt today. Are I, you? T- I took a ride by the Everglades. Um, uh, what? What? Uh, what's the name of that? Uh, Co- I I took a ride to Colony Plaza. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got lost going, but I made it, and I made it back. <laughs> Just getting your golf cart going. If you take a wrong turn, turn around. I tell you what. I mean, usually if you pull a map out, you get ten people asking, "Oh, hey, you know, yeah. you're all right. You need to go somewhere." Um, I, I got the village's G, uh, GPS, but it wasn't talking to me. I the village's GPS. Yeah, I don't know why. That's because you bought a house from me. Huh? You bought a house from me, and then they cut you off. Wow. You didn't know that. Is that the gig? Well, you know what, then? It's okay. Uh, and So Gary sent me one of my, his uh, Eclipse picks. I couldn't pull it up. Um, 
I mean, I tried on my phone, and it, for some reason I kept hitting download, 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 and it... So, By the way, uh, Microsoft minutes equals uh, 10 to 300 minutes. 10 to 300. Okay. All right, so... Uh, oh, Jerry. Ira, you're supposed to have your... You're off a decade or two. I don't look like I'm 50, Jerry. I mean, <laughs> I figured you'd have been really confused at the fact <laughs> that maybe... Uh, anyway... I'm 50. 50 and 50 and plus 11. There you go. Uh, oh, wow. Man, he got a great picture. Wow. Cool. I could not get my camera to do that. Gary, you got, how did you do that, man? I mean, I was trying everything on this brand new S24 Samsung whatever <laughs> and I couldn't get a good picture like that. That's awesome. Thanks for, for sharing that with me, Gary. That's cool, man. That is awesome. All right. Uh, if you're supposed to have you. Okay. Well, they say after 50, Jerry. Not on 50, after 50. So, you know, I waited until somebody I knew had shingles and scared the heck out of me. My wife is all kind of mad at me for doing it. <laughs> Here is Gio and Noah. Gio and Noah. Noah is a year old, and he weighs... Three pounds. Three pounds. Less than Geo. Oh. Than Geo. What? I wow. think I think Geo is twenty four and Noah is twenty one. Wow. Yes. Holy cow! That's gonna be a big boy. He man. is going to be a monster. Yep. Is he gonna play hockey? Uh, him. He's probably gonna play football. Geo gonna play hockey? Don't know. <laughs> am I putting you? Am I kind of fronting you there? No, whatever they wanted to. So, Timajama, how's the remodeling going? So, I have one more video to make on that. Um, we had a we had a, a an offer on a, on that property, and um, they were gonna. They said, don't do any more work on it. That's you know we're gonna. Take the cabinets out. We're going to replace the cabinets. They wanted to put their own appliances in there. What else did they want to do? They wanted to paint the driveway themselves. Um, all kind of different concessions going on. And then after about, I don't know, two weeks, I guess, they decided we're out. Wow. Didn't give any reason. <clears throat> now, it was contingent upon their home selling in the Panhandle up in Destin. So I don't know if something happened there. I mean, you know, I'd even question it. It's like, whatever, you don't, you don't want the house? Fine, we'll put it back on the market, we'll finish it. So today I've got the guys finally got back there after like a week and a half to go and do the, um, the tile backsplash. I had the uh, stainless steel appliances delivered um, on, was it Friday, I think? Anyway, that's all, like I said, that's all a blur. I had all I could do to get over there to let the guys in and get the appliances in there, and then I was out. But, <clears throat> so the appliances will be, everything should be done by tomorrow. And then I'll do my final, um, my final video with the house, comp well, I mean, the only thing now is, now I got to go and get the guys, and I don't know how backed up they are to paint the driveway. Have you contacted any driveway painters? For no, that? not yet. Not yet. What did, the, what did those people do to our driveway? 
with, they with, grinded with, it down. With, I mean, ha, after the fact, I don't know what was going on there. But yeah, there was ground spots yeah. where they smoothed things out, and uh, it looks like they were preparing it for painting. And then, and then they, they backed out. That's what it looks like to me. Well, so, I have to live with it. What do you think if I if I power wash the driveway? Will that be all right? You can you can power wash it. I try. It's I not going to change. It's not going to change it, right? Well, no one changing nah, I didn't think so. Um. All right. So. Remodeling is going great. Finish tomorrow, other than um, the painted driveway. We left the, the vault in and the safe in there. And then we're going to play it by ear. We'll see if somebody makes an offer. And if they don't want the vault, then we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. But I can tell you, so many people, um, so many people said, keep the vault. And I was ready to just get rid of it. But there's plenty of room for a golf cart, for a workshop, or whatever, even with the vault in there. Wow. So I think we might, we're just going to leave it there for now and see what everybody else says, okay? Um, let's see here. If, anybody, if anyone is looking for a house in Rhode Island, my house is for sale. Oh, that's why he's, that's the only reason he's, he knows we have national attention here, so he <laughs> But I can't hire Ira Miller to sell my house in Rhode Island. <laughs> and for all you people that know, uh, know me, the rabbits are still winning. I'll leave it at that. Oh, my gosh. The rabbits. The rabbits. All right. So... Um, so we have somebody new, Goofy Girl. Yikes, I had no idea that a shingle shot. I had no idea either, trust me, or else I would have thought twice about it. I got but, it, I got it, I had no problem. And I talked to um, a guy named Greg tonight, uh, right before the show. He said he got it. No problem. He's, but he said the guy down the street had a, a very bad adverse reaction Ooh. and refused to take the second shot. Oh. And so I'm thinking twice, you know, well, oh. I've gone this far. You know, do I take the second shot and just bite the bullet and probably get a bad reaction again for a week or so? But And then, and then I'm done. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. But they said, come back in two to six months. Right. Get your second shot. We're going to really think think very seriously about that. Um, so, Goofy <coughs> Girl. That's what I, th I thought, too. Anyways, thanks for joining this evening. Appreciate it. Gracie, it gets very hot and humid in Virginia, except... Sun is not as intense feeling as it is in Florida. Hmm. Gotcha. All right. Oh, okay. That's where you got. Yeah. The minute. You cheated. You read ahead. I thought that was my job. You cheated. I thought you were. You're over there on your phone. I thought you were googling it. No, I'm just keeping up with the. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So, um. Yeah, I live in Northern Virginia, but we just bought in the villages and are down here now. My daughters are in Virginia. Uh, hello, everyone from sunny Michigan. Hey, Missy Mo from... I mean, I guess this is the best time of the year for everybody up north, you know. I guess, right. are you pretty much done with the cold weather? Well, they finally had a nice day today after, I guess, rain, rain, and rain, and more rain, I guess. But the cold's gone? Never to be seen again. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on that, Ira. <laughs> to the end of the year. Don't, I mean. don't, don't bet on that one. <laughs> it could snow next week over there. <laughs> um, let's see. LaBelle North is right off of Morris Boulevard. Um, oh, and uh, Moyer Loop. So if anybody knows where Moyer Loop is, uh, it's real close to, um, to Colony. Right? Colony Plaza. Moyer Loop. 
Well, she's asking where um, LaBelle is. I don't and know. And so Moy it's off of Moyer Loop. Yeah, I was around Moyer, uh, Moyer Loop today. I think I, I got lost up there somewhere in my golf cart. But. And Patricia, uh, one thing about um, Christian, this little screen you got us here mm -hmm. doesn't really tell me how many people. I've, I've got uh, yeah. 33. Yeah, okay. 33 up here. Oh, okay, so it's over there. And then right the bigger one. Right okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, one day I should do like a little kind of remote shot and so everybody can kind of see what we see over here. That's cool. That's 85 cool. views. Um, and only 26 minutes. Mm -hmm. cool. Hi, sis. Hi, Tom. Terry, Tammy, and Uncle Pete. I hope you're with us. Are they watching? Uh, my sister is, but cool. she didn't chat. Sis, you can chat. Anything. Yeah, hit the chat button. Tom, hit the chat button and just say hi. My brother-in-law. Patricia, one of our regulars, thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, so I'm doing a little better. I mean, I had a little relapse today, but other than that, I think I'm good to go. The Ghost Rider just got back from a week in the villages. Wish we were still there. Did you not come see me? I'm stuck in a chat. Okay. Ghost Rider, you're supposed to call. Come on in. Say hey. I like to see everybody. So many people go, hey, Ira, I know you're really busy, you know, I don't want to bother you and all that stuff. Ooh. But, um,. I've got eight hours a day, five days a week, six days a week. So Try to make it five days a week. Do not be afraid to call Ira, because when we found the house in the village of Buttonwood, I called him like at eight o'clock in the morning, and he was doing a video at one, one o'clock in the afternoon, and he was going out that evening. So... If you think you found the house for yourself, give Ira a call and he will go do a, a video and he will send it to you immediately if that is the house you're looking for. Yeah. No, that, no doubt about it. Talked to a guy named Greg today and he wanted me to, uh, he was talking, he, he sent me uh, asking about information on um, a home in Oak Run in Ocala. Okay. By uh, on top of the world. All right. And um, he's, you know, so he had a bunch of questions he was asking. And I, I, you know, I, I was a couple of days late again because of that stupid shingle shot. But, yeah, well, uh, sure. You know, but tomorrow I'm going out and do a video for him. Okay. So, um, uh, so, and then I'm going to bring it in, hand it off. We should have that video out to him by tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. You want to see that home? I don't know if I should show it. Yeah, we'll show it. We'll show it. Let's see, because this is a recent... Um... That in your way? No. We're good. Let's see here. Right. It was this one. So this is what we're going out tomorrow to see. And has a pool. And it's on a big, huge lot right here. Right? Well, here, they, 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 they gave us a, uh... oh, it's fenced in, too. Wow. Big birdcage, fenced in. There it is. Look at the size of this lot. 239 for this home. Roof in 2019, so I got to go out and uh, do a video for Greg. He's like, what's wrong with this home? How come it hasn't sold? 239, I mean, like, yeah, I know. The only thing I could see is it's a one-car garage, but um, 239 with a pool? Pool's $75,000, right? So, I mean, did, did you see the size of that pool and that birdcage? I mean, uh, 
Here's a big map of it. While we're here, anyways, I want to, um, yeah, look at that. Big, huge pool, 239. That's crazy. Anyways, while we're here, we really hit a, a precipice. Is that the word? Mm -hmm. In the villages. We're back over 400. Oh, we're, we're right at 400. So, I don't know if that's good news or bad news. Oh, here, hold up. I need to, um, I need to, how do I do the mini me, Kristen? Just over here? I'm probably going to mess everything up. Uh, uh, the red? The red one. Yep. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I can get her from there. I'll put it back up a little bit. Yeah, right here. Yep. Here we are. All right, so, um, and then when I want to get back to where I was. It'd be full. Or do you mean your chats? It would be the green icon. Okay, very, I'm cool. All right, so, um, 400. I don't know. I mean, we're getting back to. I know, every week, I know we like to check out um, our inventory. And every week, I also say that inventory... Where's my cursor? Inventory... It, there it is. Here we are. 400 matches. <clears throat> Historically... 500 to 550, I say this every week, I think, is about normal. Um, and really, with all the homes that have been built in the villages now, I would say probably 600 should be about normal. But, you know, I kind of like the idea that, you know, inventory was low. Why did I like the idea inventory was low? Because that meant we were selling a whole lot of homes and which kept the inventory home uh, low. So sales are, have really slowed down, and I don't know. I, I, there's a number of reasons why it's slowed down. And um, I think, number one, that whole NAR lawsuit, I don't know if everybody's heard about that or not, but um, uh, <clears throat> Let me get us back to where we were so we don't have to keep. <clears throat> so I don't know if anybody's heard about the NAR lawsuit, but I think that kind of put a little damper on things. And um, also the higher interest rates, the, the, um, the presidential election, every presidential election cycle, the real estate just seems to really slow down. <clears throat> so... Um, that's kind of why our inventory is going up. So, but again, when inventory goes up, that means sales are going down, and that's not a good thing from my perspective anyways. Uh, but what it does, it means that there's more inventory out there for people to choose from. Hmm. Uh, so, let's go back to our chats. Um, let's see, we're in Florida, we're in Florida, and we'll be visiting soon, so Goofy Girl, give us a call. Um, Christian just dipped out of the room, but I'll have him put in the chat our, um, our telephone number. He did. He put it. Did he? Yep. Oh, cool. So you can call, talk to Blakely, and, uh, was Blakely here when you came here? No. She has gone. She was out of here. It's after 5. What time did you get here? 5.30? Yeah. She was gone. So give us a call. And um, we'd love to chat, spend some time with you. I mean, you don't have to be uh, ready to buy to come on in here and talk. No. It'll give us, you know, the opportunity to kind of chat and figure out where you want to be and what you need and how we can help you. I right. have your phone number posted there for you. Yeah, that's what. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm like, Christian left. He needs to put the phone number on it's there. It's there. He already did. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, just got back from we. Okay, so we talked about that. Um, so Gracie, so much to do there. I'm thinking about moving there, but it's such a big decision. Uh, you know, is it a really a big decision? I mean, it's a good decision, right? I mean, well, it depends if how uh, how much you like the cold. <laughs> Where you coming from? If you like the cold, yeah, stay up north because I'll tell you, from October to even now, it it's cold, rainy. It's been a rainy, cold season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not much snow, but the weather's been miserable. Well, see, that's even worse because now you can't even enjoy the snow sports that are up there. You know, oh, sledding that's, and that's, skiing. Well, and that's, that's not true. If you go to if you went up four hours to New Hampshire. They got tons. Oh, well, then they, I mean, I'm just saying, it, it's not like right out your back door. No, 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 no. no. Where you can, in four hours is four hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, at back home, no. Yeah. Uh, we are off of Moyer Loop. See, that's what I told you, next to Bell Glade Country Club. Um, Bill, when did you buy in there? How long have you had that house? It's, I kind of don't remember. No. You you even having a house here? In Bill Rizzo? No, yeah. I, I don't. I mean, unless I was missing something, but all of a sudden it's like, yeah, we're in Lebeau. And I'm like, wait a minute. Are you renting? Are you buying? I mean, I don't know. Anyways, um, Gary says. <laughs> So we're going to have this ongoing conversation with Gary every week. It's going to be a, a, <clears throat> a countdown. He's got five years. <laughs> so we're going to have a countdown every week about Gary, how the state will finally let him move or he's going to retire or, or whatever. So... That's uh, an ongoing thing we have here. Um, and also, if you are visiting the villages this week, I heard that there is a blueberry festival at Bromwood on Friday night. But I just talked to Ira when I came in, and he says it may be canceled. But well, that's what I, I'm gonna. I'm I, gonna I don't. I don't know. I'm going to ask my wife yeah. because she's the one. Didn't you text? No, didn't you tell me that the Blueberry Festival Festival. And we went to Rocky and the Rollers Saturday night at Bronwood. It was the 25th anniversary of playing in the villages and there was about 3,000 people at Bromwood Square. It was absolutely packed. Rocky and the Rollers. Rocky and the Rollers. They are, they are they can, awesome. They are awesome. They are yeah. good. And I got my buddy Jason Gallagher who is in a band up north who just purchased a home from me. He's going to be coming down every four or five weeks he said and, okay. and is going to be playing around here so no, Does he it that? was not me. Oh, somebody said the blue. Okay. Maybe, I guess it's on. It must be on Friday at 4 o'clock. Maybe, I don't know. At Brownwood. So, <clears throat> Gary says, I took that Eclipse pick using an iPhone 15 behind the Eclipse glasses, and that's what I tried to do, too. I think we had to, in the future, we'd have to tape it to it, I think, to keep it steady. Oh. Instead of holding it like we did. Well, yeah, I mean, when we looked at, you know, when we Googled it, it said to cut the glasses mm -hmm. and then pay, tape it over. I didn't want to cut the glasses. We only had one pair, yeah. <laughs> we had to share those. Maybe I could have cut them and you had one and I had one and we just closed one eye in. We probably both would be blind in one eye, though. <laughs> So I heard the villages are naming streets that are south by top realtors as they're going to be in Ira Miller Boulevard. Well, there is a Miller Boulevard. Actually, there's a Miller Street 
wasn't named after Ira Miller. It was named after Patty Miller because she works for the bank, and they were taking um, bank and uh, well, chat for us. I guess uh, the who's upper management. Exactly. Yeah, upper management in the bank, and they were they were using their their last name. So she qualified for that. But you know what? 466A. Everybody says I want to be between the you know the, the sixes, the 466 and 466A. Well, 466A is Miller Boulevard. So I just kind of I like it. I took that over. We're between the sixes. Yeah, you're yeah. between the sixes. Um, so there you go. I'm doing a crash course in the lay of the land there. New versus resale. No bond sounds nice. <clears throat> I actually have a really nice veranda listing. Actually, now that I think about it. And we are going to check that out real quick since Missy said, was it Missy or was it Goofy Girl said something? Oh, yeah, Goofy Girl. Oh, man. How come this thing gives me a fit with, I got it, Christian. Uh, here. Cassandra is my listing. So here we go. No bond. Beautiful home. Bond paid. What does that mean to you? See our details at the bottom of this marketing description. So Goofy Girl, thank you for that um, uh, segue to this awesome home that I have. This is a, called a veranda. And if you look through the windows, there's a wall in the back for privacy. And a uh, very open floor plan. We kind of did a virtual staging of this home. There you go. Just so you can kind of see how things are laid out. But very open floor plan, which is what everybody wants. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, Kevin, yours kind of like that. Yeah. Only carpet in the bedrooms. Master bathroom, huge walk-in closet, right? Yeah. I love the walk-in shower, too. That's nice. Guest bathroom, laundry room. It has the uh, golf cart garage in there. So it's two and a half car garage. Over here in the lanai, you, it has all, it has stuff for your TV, so you can put your flat screen up here on this wall, and all the hookups are up there. Okay. So we're good. Five thirty-five for this home with the bond paid. So thirty-five thousand dollars of that price is the bond. All the homes in that area have a uh, have a thirty-five thousand dollar bond. So no bond. And so this home is priced awesome. And you can see how close it is to the rec center. I sent my drone up there, and this is the house here, and it's literally walking distance to the recreation center. Pickleball courts. There you go, Kevin. There we go. I know you're ready to go. So, yeah, there you go. Thanks for the segue there, Goofy Girl. And um, appreciate that. <clears throat> so, just my little chance of... So, BB, if you're on there, I know you would appreciate that little advertisement on your home. So, Goofy Girl, um, thank you for that segue. Close enough to get to the show at the Sharon. Oh, see, she really knows what she's talking about. Spanish Springs and the Sharon um, Performing Arts Center, which is great. 
I saw that listing. It's really nice. I love that shower in the fenced-in yard. I mean, so that's what it's all about. I mean, so many people were um, going with courtyard villas because they just wanted a fenced-in yard uh, for privacy and for their pets. And um, so the villagers came up with the verandas, and they kind of mixed the designer homes with the courtyard villas, and there you go, you have the verandas. And that's what those are all about, so they, they, they do well. And like I said, that is a great priced home because really, I mean, if it, if it, um, if, if it had a bond, I mean, if you take the bond out of the equation, it's really, you know, a $500,000 home. Mm -hmm. So everyone wants an open floor plan except you. Yes, you are not the norm, Mindy. <laughs> That's within walking distance to sawgrass, isn't it? It's not uh, walking distance, no. But, um, <clears throat> so uh, Mark Miller is asking, um, uh, do you have any pictures of the home that you recently remodeled? Uh, I do. However, uh, we need to rework those pictures. Okay. They didn't come out very good. And since he asked, I will go ahead and let's go back to oh, criteria. And um, I think uh, Tamma Jamma asked about this as well. I think that's who it was. So Cimarron. So this is the home that I have been actively remodeling. We did do, uh, so that's the old picture. That shouldn't, so this is the old picture. This is what it used to look like. Oh. By the way, Christian, I did do some um, new drone okay. on the old drone. So if we can pull those um, pictures off the old drone uh, and put those on here. So I don't have any before and after. Here you have to go to my YouTube channel to see the before and afters. But this is what it looks like today. Brand new floors, two-tone picture framing. Um, I mean, we added a closet in here. This is the other guest bedroom. This closet we added, it didn't even have a closet in the front bedroom. It had a big workstation in here. And uh, I'm like, no, we need to get that out of here because it was dated. It was a green color. <clears throat> so we have these pictures here, but like I was saying earlier in the program, um, we're, we've got the appliances now, and they should be installed either... They'll, they'll be installed tomorrow. And then I'll do the updated uh, pictures on this home. But we totally remodeled it. There was a big bookshelf a built-in bookshelf right here, so um, we took that out, and we have, and, and then it did have like the pony bar where it steps up, we took that out, made that all one level, and look at this, I mean, this is, there's a lot of room in here, it has a pool, so outside these French doors, there's a pool. This is the master bedroom with French doors out to the pool as well. That's a big, huge walk-in closet with closet organizers in it. There those are. Master bedrooms, giant. Giant. And then we wow. totally redid the whole bathroom with this walk-in shower. And uh, this, this is where the toilet is. Are the pictures in there? This is the new master that we did. In wow. There. Beautiful walk-in shower. We moved the head, the shower head was over here. We moved it 
all over here so now you can turn it on here and then just walk on in but yeah this this bathroom this toilet area came all the way out to here and I'm like and then there was just a walk in with a shower door here I'm like you don't do shower doors anymore. This is called a rain glass. So it, it obscures uh, the person inside. But we took a bunch of room out of the um, toilet area where now you can just walk right in. Let's see, yeah, see right in there. Took this whole wall that was all the way out to here, brought it back. So that really added a lot. Big, huge two-car garage. I don't think I have pictures of the save. Here's the view. Wow. This view is unbelievable. <clears throat> so you have your pool, you have your golf course, you have your water preserve over here. You just can't get a view like that anymore. <clears throat> There's that view. It's beautiful. little water feature there was a waterfall here that comes around we have to get that we're, we're trying to decide whether to fill this in or get that working again I'm not sure how we want to go on that one this was called a serenity garden when I sold it to the people there was a bunch of uh, bushes here and tree and I think it was I can't remember what kind of um, hedges there were in here for the serenity garden but it really obscured that beautiful view of the of the golf course. So, you know, I felt like that's got to go. We have a brand new roof on there now. It's a black roof. And um, Christian's over there trying to get those going. The, the studio theater is over. At, this is in Tierra del Sol, the village of Tierra del Sol. And then you have the grill. That says bar and grill back there. And you have the a beautiful recreation center so there you go that's um that is my other listing thank you for asking mr miller and if any of you want to see the um before and after go to the go to homes around the villages youtube channel there's a whole series of videos on this um on that home So let's go back to some of our chat. Whoops. Whoop, over here, okay. <clears throat> John, John Harganin. John, thank you for joining us this evening. And Victoria has joined us. That's very nice of you. Let's see here. I think there needs to be a Whataburger. Oh, yeah, there was a big thing um, on the news. Uh, okay, we're off Moyer Loop and Bell Glade. Let me just make sure I catch up uh, with everybody. I don't want to leave anybody out. So let me just kind of catch up a little bit as I was going on. Um... We talked about that, and talked about that. So, Goofy Girl, I agree, we're even within walking distance to the Savannah Center. Oh, wow. Nice. Wow. Yeah. They got a lot of good shows coming there. At the Savannah Center? I think so. Rain, The Beatles, The Beatles and really? Rain, yeah. Because um, I saw that show. Was it good? Yeah. Yeah, because they do three costume changes. Oh. You know, they have the mop top, you know, in yep. the early days, and then they just go through and... Um, yeah, once we get our feet wet, we're going to... Cool. Yeah, we've got to get our feet wet a little so bit. So yeah. Bill says I would definitely keep the vault. Thank you. That's been the, pretty much the consensus. Uh, so... What's the most popular model? In the villages, I'd say probably the lantana, iris, gardenia, the lily. Um, there's probably those, that group of homes are the most popular. 
Isn't there a golf club and restaurant over near the Savannah Center too? Yes. <coughs> um, Glenview Country Club. And Glenview Country Club's pretty cool. They have a really nice restaurant. I haven't been to Glenview in quite a while now that I think about it, but they have a really nice um, tennis facility over there. And they even have a swimming pool shaped like a tennis racket. Wow. Yeah, I did a video like that one time, and, and I, I went up and I showed, looking down, how it looked like the tennis racket. Oh, okay, so, oh yeah, Mindy, yeah, she knows everything about the villages. In our village, we have the El Santiago and El Diablo. Kevin, those rabbits make great stew. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that uh, one. Oh, my God. <laughs> so Jerry's telling me to suck it up. You know, my, that's my father-in-law's favorite saying, is to suck it up. You know? Oh, Jamie, Kevin, we need to go play pickleball. Absolutely, Jamie. Absolutely. Oh, Jamie Miller, are you on here, girly? And, and then Gary says there needs to be a Whataburger. New drum picks just put on the summer. Oh, you got them on there already? Yep. Um, so give it like an hour to upload. Cool. It should be available for everyone. Sorry about that, Jamie. I lost my chat a while ago, but I, I got it back. I see it. Yeah, when you're ready to play, let me know. Let me know, girlfriend. So John Hargadon is from Miller Place, New York. I like the name of that, of that town. <laughs> Um, and then we have Henry Miller joining in. Where's Karen, Jerry? One, oh my know. god, she is oh, out wow. with the girlfriends. Yep, out with the girlfriends. They are staying with us for four nights. Oof. Yeah, they got lost at Cody's, <laughs> <laughs> they forgot to leave. Ah, <clears throat> uh, let's see. So, Mindy says, it's still a seller's market, according yeah. to a realtor I saw his video. His name is Zach. He's really young looking. So, I don't know what to say about that, Mindy. You know, I am going to say something. So, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, I, I, I hate to keep, Reminding everybody, 24 years experience here in the villages, worked nine years for properties of the villages, which is the sales office in the villages. So you, I have all these copycats. I mean, I was the first realtor on the YouTube back in, I would say, eight years ago. And ever since I started, you have all these other people I was before Jerry and Linda. I think Skip Smith might have got on about six months before I got on here. But um, anyways, there was no other realtor that did YouTube. And um, so now I've got all these copycats that think they know everything about everything. And um, all I can say is you can listen to who you want to listen to. It's your prerogative, but I would think that somebody who's been around as long as I have, who has worked strictly in the villages for 24 years, I started in 2000 in the villages sales office, they go, oh, it's a seller's market, you know, I mean, really? First of all, um... I think what a lot of people fail to realize that everybody competes against the developer and the developer here in the villages is here obviously to sell new homes, not pre-owned homes. I mean, that's kind of a side thing for them. Their main focus is on, is on new homes. But as far as a seller's market goes, well, you know, I just showed you that, you know, we're up to 400 um, uh, listings in the pre-owned market in the MLS. So when inventory keeps going up and up and up, how is that a seller's market? 
That's a buyer's market. You know, when you have all this inventory, what's going to happen? Prices are going to start going down. People are going to start reducing their prices because there's so much on the market right now that, you know, that's what's going to happen. Even the villages, if you go on their website, you see them slashing their prices or giving discounts on their prices. It's not a seller's market. It's a buyer's market right now because of all the inventory that's on that, in that market. So when I, see, when I hear things like this, you know, and, and these people want to go in there and say, oh, it's still a seller's market. Oh, well, whatever. You know, I'm just following the numbers. And I look, I show it. I pull it right up here on the screen and I show you, you know, what's in the MLS. And I show you every week. And every week you can see it going up and up and up and up. When inventory is going up, is that a seller's market? It's a seller's market when inventory is down. So, you know, when we're getting... Well, all I can say, if it wasn't for Ira back in 2019, uh, when I came here on Memorial Day weekend and I went into my home and it was absolutely trashed. And I gave Ira a call that Saturday morning, and he said that you, we ready to put it on the market. I said, and I didn't even meet Ira at this point in time yet, like 2019, I guess. And I said, I've got a major problem. I just walked into my house in uh, DeSoto, and it is completely trashed. I didn't know what to do. <clears throat> but thank God I had Ira. Because he knew the exact people to help me out and go forward from this disaster. And then we were able to meet at a later time. And he sold my home in DeSoto. And then he, uh, and then he found my the, home. The patio villa. The patio villa. Yeah. I was even in there hooking up appliances. and The gas. Yeah. And then he found us a home in uh, the village of Buttonwood. So yeah, so you know, I, so I, I, <laughs> here's a man with experience, knowledge, that, all of the above. So yes, it is your choice to go with who you want. But if you want a professional, here's the man to do it. Bottom line. You know, and only you know, I mean, I only say that you know because it's like. There's so many people out there giving misinformation. Right. And, uh, and it kind of makes me mad when I see everybody out there trying to be an expert in the market. They're 22 years old, got their license for a year, go out and get their video camera, sure. the, you know, and, and think they can make videos and know it all. I mean, look, I'm going to tell you something. Real estate is not what people think it is. I have brand new agents coming into this office all the time. And they'll train with me for about four months and they think they know it all. And I'm like, look, <laughs> I've been in this, in this career for 24 years and I still don't know it all. And I, my favorite saying with these new agents is, you don't know what you don't know, right? That's right? And that's true. They think they know it all. They just don't know how much there is to know. I know how much they don't know, but they don't know what they don't know. Not. And so it's like, and that's what we're getting with these, these, these people, these, like Mindy was saying, this young guy, um... It's all about experience, in my opinion. You know, yep. you can get right out of right out of college, in my opinion, with a real estate degree. But if you've never sold a home, right, you don't know what you're doing, and you don't know how to get started. And I see it almost on a no. daily basis when people come in and say they want to come work in my office and they want me to train them. They don't even know any of the roads. <laughs> yeah, and that was, one of my, that was one of my pet peeves with some of my agents is I'm like, don't even think about getting that GPS out. 
right? Oh. You need to get out there and know the roads and the villages because how are people going to have confidence in you, my new agents, if you're out there following a GPS? I mean, they're, uh, you, have to, you have to show what you know. You have to have experience. You have to gain the confidence of the people you're working with. Yeah. And that's not one way to do it. Um, anyways, uh, let's see. Jerry. Okay. We're, okay, so we're past that, right? Yep. About this Zach dude. 600 in the MLS, VLS, or both? 600. I mean, I'm saying a normal um, inventory in the MLS would probably be about 600, you know, when, when it's a, a normal, um, well, compared to what I, I'm used to historically, where it's a, uh, it's a buyer's market. Is around would be probably typically about six hundred. It's four hundred, yeah, but it's going up. So you say, yeah, it's still a seller's market. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think so because I also know. I see. I also see how how much there's price reductions going on. Right. Whenever you see a lot of price reductions going on, that's not a seller's market. That's a buyer's market. Mm. Prices are going down. Yeah. Uh, Miss uh, Missy Mo, uh, Kevin, did you have any issues renting your Buttonwood home? No, we did not. In fact, the renters that we had January, February, and March were absolutely fantastic. I can't say enough about the people who rented our home. They were great, great, nice, nice people. We were very, very fortunate. Cool. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, they were. They were. I, I think the house was cleaner than when we left it, and we left it spotless. And when we came back, it was absolutely spotless. They they did a great job. Very fortunate. Cool. Yeah. Peter, thank you for bringing up my podcast, Peter, because we really are working hard to... Um, oh, yeah, by the way, we got to get um, that guy from last week. When I had to cancel because of that single, that shingle shot. Yeah, I think likely he's already rescheduled then. Okay, cool. Oh, so, was, okay. I, and and this guy too, he canceled. Oh, <laughs> that was a good thing. That was a good thing. Yeah. So he, I couldn't Ke walk. Yeah, Kevin was supposed to come on my podcast, and that's when I had the shingle shot, and I was out out of commission. He was out of commission. <laughs> So, I, couldn't, uh, I couldn't walk. Yeah, and so that was good. But I had another guy scheduled uh, midday. So, Peter, thank you for um, telling me about my podcast because that's exactly how I feel. Love your podcast with your past, uh, with your past buyers. Love hearing why they bought where they did. It's the hardest part, finding the right area. I like it when you talk about places outside the villages, too. So that's what I do. That's what I, I feel like, you know, I will help you find the right home and the right place. And, Mindy, we've debated about this on previous pod, or live streams about how I feel like I get it right. And everybody's saying, you know, Averages, you know, you move three times in the villages. Yeah, if you start out as a se seasonal person, then you go to a full time and then you move out. So, yeah, okay, there's your three times. But I like to feel like, just like in my podcast, Jim Levites said we got it right the first time. So I kind of look ahead and see, okay, well, what what is your plan? What is it for the future are you looking at you know are you looking at being here you know in a year or two years as a full-time resident or are you five ten years down the road or whatever so i i talk about all that and we we try to make sure that we get it right so that's what my podcasts are all about and then different areas because honestly this is homes around the villages 
but this means homes around the outside as well as the inside. It's a little play on words. Um, and yeah, there's people who love on top of the world like um, the Frankels did. There's people who love Stonecrest like Michaela um, so, and Sue. So, yes, we will keep the podcast coming, and um, those are kind of, you know, really, if no one has seen any of my podcasts, I suggest um, uh, you come back. We did it right the second time. Yeah. We, we wanted yeah. We wanted it. Well, that was before I met him. That was before right. I met Ira. Right. Then we told him when we, after we sold this house, that we want... An open floor plan with a two-car garage and a golf cart garage. We really weren't going to settle for anything less, and thank God we did. Yeah. Because a lot of the people, even now, they say, oh, my God, I wish I had that golf cart garage. Yeah. I really... Because everybody from up north are used to, used to basements. Exactly. Right? And this kind of takes the place of a basement. Big time. So Big time. Extra storage as well as from oh, a golf cart. Oh, it's great. It's great. Yeah. Wait, if you're in the area, stop by. You won't believe it. Yeah, I will. Yeah, stop by. Um, yeah. But I do want to go back to your, your patio villa in DeSoto. Yeah. So okay. he was right. He had a heck of a time getting this guy out of his house, oh. out of his patio villa when I first met him. He finally got the guy out because I think what his mother was the one that rented from you, and then she moved no. out and left him? No, 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 no. He, he, <laughs> he was with supposedly his girlfriend at the oh, time. Oh, his girlfriend. And then yeah. she, she jumped ship. Right. Oh, what a mess. And left him. Oh, what a mess. <clears throat> the carpet was destroyed. Oh. So I said, Kevin, oh. get rid of the carpet. Don't even try cleaning that carpet. No, you couldn't. Let's go with LVP, Luxury Vinyl Planking. Yeah. Went with the LVP through there. The guys that did the LVP kind of pulled the appliances up, put it all underneath the appliances. Well, they forgot to hook the appliances But up. But I got to give a shout out to Lori McGinnis, who came to see me and said, don't worry, I have seen worse. And she said, we will take care of everything. Because I had to go back to Rhode Island two days later. I had to go back to work. So I have a home that's destroyed in Florida, <laughs> and I have to go back to Rhode Island. And, you know, I have to leave this in the hands of Ira, who really at the time I didn't really know. Mm -hmm. I never met him. And Lori, and then, you know, and then, you know, everything worked out. Thank God, because if it was somebody else, I, I don't know what I would have done. We would have yeah. been, we would have been, uh, <laughs> can he sue the renter for ruining his house? You can't. If, if you can get blood out of a stone, uh, uh -huh. let let me know. Yeah. Let me know. Uh, all right. So moving on. Thank you again, Peter, for mentioning the podcast. I appreciate that. Uh, Gary, five years or two bad Mondays in a row. Oh, okay. Watch Linda K. Watching from the Oregon coast. Whew. Boy, she's way on the other side. Wow, so Oregon. Yeah, I guess I so. I guess they're probably like three hours behind, right? Um, Where's it five? All right. Gary said he saw Rocky and the Rollers um, July 4th okay. last year. Well, let's see. It's Jamie. <laughs> Where's Jamie? Keep going, keep going. Oh, there she is. Kevin, we need to go play pickleball. Jamie, we are going to team up and we are going to kick butt. <laughs> All right? This is Oregon time. 414 in Oregon. Three hours, yep. Yeah. Okay. All right, Jamie Miller. Yeah, that'd be a good stress release, too, girl. Get yeah. out there. You ready? I'll be ready. <laughs> no, nah, we're going to team up. We're going oh, gonna... to kick your father's butt. That's uh... what we're going to do. Kick his me butt. And Christian against you and James. Oh my God, Jamie, come on. <laughs> hey, I'm very competitive. I'll be all over the court. Oh, all right. Uh, do you suggest paying off the bond or or over time? Thanks, my husband is not fans of bond. So, Tamajama, depends on how long you plan on being in that in that home. And I'm going to really give you 
Here's what we're going to do. I, I love to do this, so thank you again for that question. Um, here we go again with this. I don't know why this... I think I need a mouse pad for this thing. Just <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Thanks, James. To um, the Villages Community Development Districts. <clears throat> we're going to go over to... Uh, here we go. Residential bond assessment. We go down to some of the newer bonds. Okay, so bear with me here. Okay, so we're in mm, unit 15. I don't know. Let's go to 38. That rings a bell for some reason. I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways, um, Unit 38, so there's an interest of 3.40 and Unit 38 and, oops, all right, <clears throat> here's some of the newer ones, okay, so when you're down there buying a new home, interest rates are, are now, Five and five point one nine percent interest. You're paying two thousand four hundred and thirty-seven dollars in interest alone on this forty-nine thousand dollar bond. Okay, so bonds are have really skyrocketed down there in the newer areas, and. Um, let me just do myself here a favor. And <clears throat> all right, so here we are. $49,000. And it, <clears throat> so these are 2023 homes that these, so these are new homes that they just built. So for the first year, they don't even they don't even take any principal off. And they're charging you $1,226, but then it jumps next year to $2,437 in interest alone. Are you wanting to pay almost $2,500 every year in interest alone for these bonds at 5.19% interest? Um, so... You know, then as with any um, mortgage or loan or whatever, the interest starts to go down. Uh, well, that's after. So look at the interest here in so 24, 2024, so six, seven years, seven years, you know, you're still paying $2,200. So that's why I say it just depends on how long you think you plan on being that home, in that home. If you're going to plan on being in that home, check this out. Um, you're going to pay $103,993 over the course of 30 years. So it doubles, right? You've doubled what you're going to pay on that on that bond. So rather than the $49,000 bond that it started out at, you're going to end up paying a hundred, almost $104,000. So you have to make the decision whether you're going to pay, even if you're there for 10 years, so you've paid $20,000 in interest in about 10 years. So 2024, you're still paying $2,000 uh, a year in interest, so in 10 years you're going to pay over 20 grand on top of what the... I think our, our bond is included in the mortgage payment. So your bond is included in your taxes, and okay. your taxes are included in your mortgage payment. And so that's what you're doing. When they pay your, your uh, PITI, um, uh, property insurance taxes, Property insurance taxes and is it, I forget what PIT is, interest, I think maybe. <clears throat> so, yeah, what, your mortgage company has escrowed your taxes and insurance. 
and um, and so you're, they're paying it for you every year. But but know, the interest rate. But yours. We're gonna have to talk about that at a later time. Okay. Seriously. Yeah. Because I. It's ours is included in the in the. Right. Market. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you pay the bond off, then you're not paying interest every every, Ooh, every okay. year. Okay. All right. Now, obviously. I think yours was like 17. 18, 18. 18? Yeah. So it's going to be significantly less. Yeah. Oh, than 49, yeah. But then $2,000 or 2500 a year. But, anyways, that's kind of where we're at. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just want to. Uh, I always like to give these these examples, right? Whenever, I, whenever you ask the question, I'd rather show you than tell you. See, I learned something tonight. Maybe down, maybe down the road, that so, would be something to do. Yeah. So, right? Tim and Jim, if you plan on staying there for a while, and <laughs> we're not, we're not selling, <laughs> we're not moving. You might want to avoid that interest. Yeah. Okay. All right. I also dislike white kitchen cabinets. Ninety percent of the new builds have them. I prefer darker cabinets. So, yeah. Um, I love white kitchen cabinets. I'm over the white paint on the walls look, though. So, yeah, I mean, everybody's different. So that's why, you know, everything is... Uh, yeah, so, yeah, some people like a courtyard villa. Or some people yeah. like, you know, obviously, it's, I guess it's what you can afford, right? <laughs> I, okay. <clears throat> um so let's see let's see so yeah the gray seems to be what a lot of people go with and that's what we went on our remodel too uh whoops let me see what did it say <laughs> yuck <laughs> oh i'll see let me where <laughs> Robert, I don't know what I know until you're done showing me what I need to know, you know? <laughs> Robert's on my team here. Good evening, Ira. Me and Tico are here. Yay. Thanks for, for joining in. I guess I, I jumped up way too far. Hold up. Oh, I love that shower. Oh, here we are. I love that shower. I would paint the walls. I like the navy cabinets um, on the bottom and wood or white. Yeah, that seems to be a, 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 a trend as well. Um, that was a great design for the shower. I'm not a fan of the light gray cabinets. They don't look right with the countertops they put in there. Get the water feature working again. It's nice and relaxing. Yep. Maybe fill in the water feature and put in a small solar fountain. Okay. That's a good idea. Actually, I really like that idea. Yeah. I could put a fountain back there. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> Leave the Serenity Garden. It would really be cool to get the waterfall going with the golf course behind it. You know, the whole thing is the neighbor hates that water feature. And the reason he hates the water feature is because the last two owners of that property never took care of it. So oh. if you took care of it, I mean, the original owner had um, a koi in the little pond that, the, that it came down to and birds ate all the koi. So once all the once all the fish were gone, I guess they lost interest with with that and kind of let it go. And it's kind of been an eyesore because they haven't really taken care of it. Hi, Karen. Are you home? <laughs> uh, let's see here. All right, 
So, wrestler, out of here. Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Thanks, you're probably already gone because that was 25 minutes ago. I got to get caught up here with my chats. So let me try to. Guess. Um, yeah. How many? Why well, there's so many houses for resale in the villages? And. Uh, I'm going to tell you why there's so many houses for resale in the villages is because the villages, you know, seem to be um, really cutting their new home inventory, even though people don't understand that you're getting the bare bones with a brand new home in the villages. So the, the, the price of the home looks inviting, it looks encouraging, and people will go out and then they buy a new home but then when they start putting in the landscaping and the and the plantation shutters and paint the driveway and put crown molding in there and you know close the lanai and paint the lanai floor or tile the lanai floor and you know it goes on and on and then you paint the inside of the house because they just give you an all white house and you know it just goes on and on and on there's so much expense after you buy this new home at this supposedly great price with this giant bond attached to it, you know, reality sets in and you're like, oh, what did I do? That is why we bought a um, pre-owned pre home for yeah, that reason. Exactly. And we, and we also had to do landscaping when we got there. And trust me, that is not cheap. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. So a lot of people, as you all know, you need two realtors when you're looking at homes in the villages. One in the VLS, well, one one with the villages because you have VLS and VNH, villages new homes and villages listing system, and in the MLS like me. But I can't tell you how many people don't give themselves the opportunity to hear both sides and make and then make a decision they don't have they don't get all the information a village's agent will get out there and sell them a new home and not tell them everything that they need to know and they end up buying a new home and I'll get a call oh guess what I bought a new home really well you know as Paul Harvey said you know there's the rest of the story and they don't get all the information. I just don't understand that. All you guys out there, I totally encourage you to get with a villages agent, but also get with me. I fill in the blanks. I tell you everything you need to know that you're not going to hear from a villages agent. So don't get caught up with... Um, <clears throat> Because what they're going to do is they're going to show you a very expensive pre-owned home because what do they do? They overprice all their pre-owned homes out there. Why do they overprice all their pre-owned homes? Just, just look at my last video or, or one of my recent videos where I say, you know, this is the deal, you know. Villages agents will come in, they'll overprice a home, they'll tell that seller, oh, we can get more money because everybody comes through us. They don't tell you that your home isn't going in the in the in Zillow or Realtor.com or anything like that. That's my phone. <clears throat> and um, I guess they must not be watching my YouTube channel, my live stream. <laughs> Anyways, getting back to what I was saying... You have to have all the information. You have to have the rest of the story. And so the villages agents go out, price their pre-owned homes up here, and then they start cutting, you know, over the months after the seller gets really frustrated, they start slashing the price. But they'll take, they'll take you to an overpriced pre-owned home, then they'll take you to a new home, and they'll go, now, do you want to buy that pre-owned home? Or do you want to go and, and save yourself $50,000 and buy this, this brand new home? Well, okay, but you're going to end up spend, spending more than fifty grand after you do everything to the home I just told you. And the bond. And that's not even factoring in the bond and all the $2,000 every, $2,500 you are going to pay every year extra. <clears throat> it's crazy. So make sure... 
you at least get with me. Don't go out there, jump on the first home you see, um, because, you know, and then I know a lot of people are looking in Moultrie and they're talking about the Eastport um, uh, Square that's coming up there. But all I'm going to say is give Ira a chance. Just give him a chance. Well, I mean, give yourself a chance. Give yourself a chance. That's what I'm saying. Right. And give but yourself go a with somebody who is a professional who will not screw you point blank. He will tell you the way it is. He will be there. He will video. He will do everything and that needs to be done. And you're 1,500 miles away. Christian, will you go get my wallet so I can pay this guy? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> hi, Sue and Sarah. I hope your first day went well. I hope you guys are making out okay after your <laughs> wonderful day. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin, for that. I really appreciate it. He's very sincere uh, when he says that stuff. It's kind of a little embarrassing to me because... I don't no. typically just, you know, try to talk. No, I'm, I'm not stuff. getting. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not. I'm. Yeah. Hey, look. So, <laughs> we, for, we 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 found we found our, for, our forever home, thanks to Ira, and you know we're not. I'm not moving two or three times. One. Uh, <laughs> one and done. <laughs> one and done. That's it. That's it. Uh, all right. So okay. <laughs> I know Iris Byron did it. <laughs> wow, I look kind of red in there. Yeah, for, uh, he's buying filet. Uh, he's buying filet mignon. I put the brightness up to help with it. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. <laughs> Definitely a buyer's market. Price reductions, longer listings. Thank you, Bill. You're exactly right. Uh, pretty much everywhere, I think. You're and. Got to keep politics out of this. Oh, yeah. Po don't tell it. Uh, anyway. You're welcome, goofy girl. Anytime. <laughs> you're reading ahead of me, aren't you, over here? Yeah, you're, you're yeah, up to I, I'm, I'm trying to get caught up over here. <laughs> let's see. Um, let's hey, see. Paul, what? Let me try to oh, get okay. caught up here. There's a video of Kevin's old house on Irish Channel somewhere. Um, oh, yeah. That's right. I did do a, uh, didn't I do a before and after of oh, your home in DeSoto? I in DeSoto? I yeah. I think I, I, excuse me, I think I did. You remember? I thought you did it in our new home. Yeah, but I I did a before and after in 2019. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh man. Yeah, I forgot all about that. Who said that? Jerry. Where? Jerry Bell. That was a long time ago. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, you're right, Jerry. We have Skip on your pod. Oh, we are. We plan on asking Skip <laughs> to come on our podcast. Absolutely. I talked to Skip today. <laughs> did you? Yeah. <clears throat> So she says, I really like that little golf cart garage. Oh. That little golf cart garage is a big thing. That is a big thing, trust yes. me. Because everybody that, you know, buys like a two-car two -car garage wishes they bought that golf cart garage. Ira. A lot of people are telling me. Even, no. even my next-door neighbor today, he said, you know, you did the right thing. I wish I had <laughs> that golf, yeah. golf cart garage. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bill says I posted some short videos on my YouTube channel. I didn't even know you had a YouTube I channel. I didn't either. Bill. What's the name of your YouTube channel? Yeah, that bond, fifty grand. You know, when somebody told me about bonds being fifty grand, I knew they were up around forty-one or forty-two. I had no idea that they're $49,000 now, I mean, at a, over a 5% interest rate. And you know what? And here's a dirty little secret I'll tell you. Guess who owns all those bonds? The villages. The villages. So <clears throat> the whole thing with bonds, which I've always had issues with, is developers 
always, always, always pull the money out of their pocket, do the infrastructure, you know, build the home. Then they go ahead and they build the price of whatever it costs to put the infrastructure in with the price of the home. Boom, you pay for the home and it's all said and done. In the villages, they do this bond thing where a lot of times they don't even tell you about the bond. They certainly don't tell you about $49,000, I'm sure, for a bond unless you ask them. And then they turn around and buy that bond and they're getting the $2,000 or $2,500 a year from you perpetually for 30 years. So it is a win-win situation. I mean, the, the villages, the villages developer is a genius. I just have oh, to, brilliant! I just brilliant. have to hand the it brilliant. to him. Brilliant! So not only do they get away with not having to pay for the infrastructure, and not only, and and why is that? Because they're already the highest priced homes in the whole tri-county area, wherever you go to buy a home, you're always going to pay more for a home in the villages than on top of the world or Stone Creek or <clears throat> any of these other um, communities around. The villages, you're going to pay more for a home in the villages than anywhere else. They're not even going to tell you about the bond unless you ask them about it. But can you imagine if they had to put an extra 50 grand on top of the price of their homes already? I couldn't afford that. <clears throat> That's I could not afford that. Out of the market. I couldn't afford that. But so, but and then they and then they're the ones that buy those bonds back, and they're the ones getting interest from it. They're brilliant. <laughs> you got to hand it. It's to business. Them. It is. They're brilliant. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, all right. So, does the interest rate ever change over the years? No. It is locked in. So it is what it is. So here's what, you know, uh, when interest rates were way down, you know, I always told people, well, you know, you know, for, for homes, for yeah. mortgages, you know, it's like, well, you know, you could always pay the bond off or put it in the price of your home or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but now... That's what we did. Uh, my husband will not pay interest, that's for sure. Well, there you go. You're going to have to, you're going to have to buy my home on Cassandra. <laughs> Do I need to pull it up again? And, uh, you don't have a bond. You're good to go. Damn, that's nuts. We would, we would be cash buyers, so I would have to add the bond to my budget. Well, there you go. And so that's why you tune in to Homes Around the Villages live every Monday to get that education on, uh, those, on what it is out there. Those, those new bonds are out of town. The concerns oh, no, certainly no, don't no. ask me. I can wait. Oh, Gary, just wait. You know, five years from now? Oh. What do you think bonds are going to oh. be like? <laughs> and that, so you're going to, I mean... Yeah, I mean, that's why pre-owned homes are such a deal. We are not moving. And that's where they're also making most profit. They're, they're, they're just, they're just, it's just, they're bringing in the money. I would guarantee they're making, over, I'd say probably 50 to $75,000 profit for every home, if not more. And then they're making residual off the bond. Mm -hmm. These guys are just making it. It's, they're killing it. <clears throat> or just to buy a resale with the bond pay. That's correct. Uh, or buy a pre-owned with a small bond. How would that be, Ira? Where's Ed? Oh, Barbara. What? How about buying a pre-owned home with a, with a minimal bond? Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. With everything done for you. Yeah. Landscaping's done, uh, driveway's done, oh, geez, crown I, molding's done. Our driveway's horrific. You know, but. the painting inside is done. I mean, you have new lighting fixtures, yeah. new ceiling fans, custom ceiling fans. I mean, people just spend tons of money on their home. Enclosed glass lanai's. They put pergolas in the back. They put the landscaping for privacy in the back. I mean, I mean... 
Yeah. It goes on and on, on, and on that, and on. that you're not even thinking about when you're buying a new home. Our, our neighbors today, they just put in new uh, new landscaping with the, uh, what do they call pavers? Oh, pavers yeah. oh, stuff. okay. The front and the side of the house. Oh, nice. Yeah, you know that cost. Wow, I can't imagine what that cost. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> See, that's the whole thing with buying a new home. You don't think about all that stuff. Yeah. You get caught up with, oh, I showed you this pre-owned home for five hundred fifty thousand, but here, here's here's a new one for four fifty, or not four, well, five hundred or whatever. Then you're not even thinking about the tens of thousands of dollars you have to spend on that home. I mean, it's it is pretty crazy. It's but it's a great place to live. It's a great place to live. Hey, Franham has joined us this evening. So welcome, Barbara Ebner as well. Welcome, Barbara. I want to thank you guys for joining us. Um, cool. Let's see here. So we're really getting educated. That veranda Iris showed is fairly new. It's a 2022. So it's only two years old. And uh, they, they've enhanced the landscaping um, in that. The bond's paid in that, so it's a good deal. It's good to go. Um, so, yeah, 2022. <laughs> Bill, I know Ira is buying dinner. Hey, he's taking me to the chop house at Lake Sumner after. <laughs> I love the chop house. Though. That place is the best. I like best. sitting outside. That's here. the place is the best. So if y'all saw my my live remote, we walked right by the chop house and then showed everybody sitting outside in the bar. And I had a customer, this was like, I don't know, maybe four years ago, that I met over there in the outside bar. And they were making these, these tr smoky drinks, you know, okay. with the yeah. smoke yeah. in the glass. And then, you know, they just, that was cool. That is numero uno. That's when it... Nancy that, Lopez, you can get in there, too. Can you? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? I got an old-fashioned like that. Okay. okay. Yeah, smoky old-fashioned, mm -hmm. I guess. But the what. Chop House, would you say that's the best restaurant in the Villages? Probably. Yeah. I don't know. Nancy's really good, too. Nancy Lopez. i never been there. Um, but... Roberto's for Italian is spectacular. Uh, did Roberto's you take good. your people there yet? Uh, to Roberto's? Don't 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 say that. No. <laughs> I saw that I saw that gift card sitting oh on Blakey's desk. Yes, uh, oh. on Friday I think it was, or Saturday I think. O M G. Ira, yes. O M G. These guys don't deserve that. Ira Miller, O M G. Shame <laughs> on you. He takes us a Messe instead. Messe de not day, in Ocala. Yeah, but I, I am. I saw that in there, and I'm like, oh, man. I'm surprised Blakely hasn't been doing, oh, Ira, we got uh, this To the staff card. of uh, Ira Miller, you have a dinner coming from Roberto's, <laughs> yes. and I'm not going to say how long ago. So here's the thing. I'm waiting for Jamie Miller to okay. go ahead and graduate and come home, and when she's here. We're going to play pickleball. We're going to go ahead and then go out to Roberto's. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see here. We'll see what that has. Oh. I'm caught up. Can you believe it? Um... Let's see here. A glass and clothes and I, those are hard to find. And they're expensive, and and that's the thing now is that they used used to be able to get um, uh, vinyl windows that it's a cheap plastic tinted plastic vinyl windows. You'll see them in the older areas. Then you then they, then you went to epoxy acrylic windows, and then the county says. Well, Sumter County, anyways, they say no. You have to have now. You have to have glass enclosed windows. And okay, the, the, the guy across the street from us, he is having his lanai enclosed 
with glass and this thing is not small it's like yeah well that's probably going to be about twenty five thousand dollars for something like are that. are you serious yeah it's up there it's pretty expensive Oh, so Goofy Girl is in Northwest Florida in the Panhandle. Nice. That's where we like to go to the beach. We go, we, so if I don't, if I just go right over to Ormond Beach or Daytona Beach or Clearwater, you know, I'm an hour and a half away. Okay. Somebody calls me, uh, can I go see a home? I'm probably driving back here. To go show some homes and I'll tell my wife go and enjoy the beach I'll be back oh. so I have to get all the way out to like Destin where it's like four and a half five hours away Panama City Destin I love beautiful white emerald green I mean I used to have that as a um, is that still yeah this is my uh, that's my screensaver. Wow. That I have. That that white sandy beaches and there was a um there's that's a manatee. Wow. In there and I took a picture of that and I had it as my screensaver. So it's crystal clear water up there, so Hey, you know what's really cool over here is the uh, gators in the pond. Oh the alligators. Woo. There's one down there in Marsh Bend that I see all the time. Yeah. And uh, this dude is big. Big. He's 10 foot easy. He's a wow. big boy. So uh, I see him laying up on the shore every time I, I yeah. go over there. Yeah. It's over by Edna's on the green. I finally found where Edna's is. Oh, yeah. It's in the back of Cattail. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. We went looking and looking and looking, and I'm saying... Where is that? Karen, it's around here. And sure enough, we drove into Cattail, and there it is. Yeah. Now we know. Yeah. Now we know. Food trucks. Yeah. My wife will not go eat there. Uh, they're building a new restaurant over there. In place of that? Yeah. So it's going to be inside? Oh. I believe so. Yeah. Whoa. So Goofy Girl says, beautiful beaches, but getting crowded, and we're tired of the crazy storms. And that is true. I mean, those hurricanes have seemed to be getting closer and closer. Ooh. Thank God we're in the middle of the state. Yeah. Um, yeah, the West Coast is beautiful, even down in Clearwater. Clearwater is really clear water. It's, it's, those are white, sandy, crystal clear water as well um but i've been i was brought up on the on the east coast i mean I, I, me too i was i've you know i was raised in fort lauderdale hollywood beach fort lauderdale and that's where i kind of grew up and yeah. then we would kind of go up and up and down the coast surfing and um but yeah so I, they don't have any surf on the west coast so you know growing up as a surfer you're like Psh. Not going on the West Coast, too flat, you know, for too many miles out. So um, yeah, so we always the East Coast has always been my thing, but it's nice to get away. St. George Island, St. Andrews, Port St. Joe, that's all in the Big Bend, right, Gary? Because <clears throat> Gary lives up there in Tallahassee, so he knows about all those little spots. But I don't know about the beaches there right unless you go out to the island um i think the beach is right off the right off the shore of the mainland no idea they're not that great i can't find uh, my way around the villages never mind the beaches yeah <laughs> missy mouse said there's a big gator in penny camp named loafer oh yeah yeah because there's a big kind of um swampy area wet or I should say water preserve. Oh, that's right off of Lake Myona. That's why. Have you had gator bites? Yeah, I've, I've had them I a like, couple times. You I like, like them? them. Yeah, They're too I, chewy to me. I love them. Yeah, they're rubbery. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. It's, don't they all? Man. Don't they, they always all. say that. <laughs> but it, it, it's like eating rubber chicken. 
Rubber chicken. Rubber chicken. Uh, wow, seven fifty. Uh, for Take a picture of um, our screen there, and uh, well, everybody. So. You're better off building from scratch because you're going to pay that extra money you'd be saving if you buy a new home. No. It's the same thing. Robert's saying you're better off building from scratch. <clears throat> All you're doing is buying a new home where you're going to have to, Robert, we're going to have to talk, sir. <laughs> have you not heard anything I've been talking about all night long here? <clears throat> uh, Jerry Harris. Jerry Harris, thank you for joining in. This the first time we've heard you, Jerry. I live in Venice, just south of Sarasota. Great beaches. Oh, aren't they? Holmes Beach. Boca Grande down there. Um... Yeah, those are great beaches down there. Now, I'll, I'll tell you a little story about there, though. <clears throat> in the summertime, in the middle of the summer, because the water is so shallow for so long, one, one year, Patty and I, we rented a home in Holmes Beach. And... Uh, I think it was Holmes, or was it Venice? I can't remember. But anyways, man, was it was that water warm? That water was so warm, and then when it's like 96 degrees out, and you want to jump in that nice, cool water, yeah. <laughs> it's warm. I'm like, oh man, wow. All right, so. So, yeah, Robert was doing open houses for me. Thank you so much, Robert. Uh, BB says, sounds like he educated us on bonds and the advantage of getting a home with the bond paid. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. If I can get... It can get choppy tourists off. And, so that's one thing about the East Coast, though. It like you have you have the Gulf Stream right out there, and and so on the East Coast, the water drops off pretty deep, not too far off the shore. It doesn't get it doesn't really get warm like it does on the on the West Coast. Okay. So just just a word of advice over there in the middle of the summer. All right, guys, almost eight o'clock. Almost eight o'clock. Wow. Christian's only here at eight o'clock. Me I too. Mean, we got to go watch the Bruins. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so we're going to sign off for this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Everybody who joined us this evening. Uh, I think it was a very successful. Th thanks to you. They all came wow. because you showed up. They didn't know. <laughs> but I was the man, the myth, and the legend. Thanks, everybody, for Thanks, watching guys. us this evening. And, See you soon. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. Be looking for our ad. Maybe we'll get over to Sawgrass Grove next week. You have a gimbal now for your phone. I do. Week. So a little tease. I think, I think next week will be the week. I'm really going to do that. So We'll see you next over week, everybody. Thanks Thank for you. joining. And uh, call us if you need us. Email ira at iamrealty.org and uh, give us a call if we can help you, right? Don't forget, Ira Mella. He's the one. Right here. He's the man. I mean, you are. Thank you. Oh. See y'all. See y'all.